My name is Captain Keith Sescaliba. Uh, I'm with the Hoover Department. Uh, with me today is Lieutenant Daniel Lowe with the Hoover Police Department. He's the Investigations Division Commander and one of our public information officers. Uh, he's going to be reading uh, for you guys a uh, update in the case that we sent out earlier this morning. Uh, after this is over with, we'll email you guys a copy of his remarks so that everybody has that. Uh, after he's done reading um, the statement, there will be a brief time for some questions and answers. And uh, with that, I will turn it over to Lieutenant Lowe. Good afternoon. Thank you all for helping us get this story out today. I want to relay some of the facts as we know them so far and a few additional details that we've been able to uncover uh, in this case. On July the 13th at approximately 9.34 p.m., the Hoover 911 Center received a call from a 25-year-old female on I-459 southbound near mile marker 11. She reported that she saw a toddler walking on the side of the interstate. After calling 911, the caller stopped to check on the child and also called a family member to report the same details. The family member lost contact with the caller, but the line remained open. Police officers who were already en route to the location of the initial 911 call located the female's vehicle as well as some of her belongings at the scene. They were unable to find her or a child in the area, and Hoover police have not received any additional calls of someone missing a small child. Detectives are currently investigating these incidents and are requesting the public's assistance to help locate Carlethia Carly Nicole Russell. She's described as a 25-year-old black female who is 5 foot 4, 150 to 160 pounds. She was last seen wearing a black shirt, black pants, and white Nike tissues, tennis shoes. Carly got off work last night around 8.20 p.m. from a business at the Summit in Birmingham. She's also believed to have stopped to pick up food from a business at the Colonnade before driving towards Hoover on I-459, where she stopped near mile marker 11. That location is between the Galleria flyover and exit 10 for Highway 150. A single witness has reported possibly seeing a gray vehicle with a light-complected male standing outside of Carly's vehicle, but we have no further information on that individual or the vehicle at this time. No piece of information is too small in this investigation. If you have any information, please contact Detective Brad Fountain at 205-444-7562 or Sergeant Drew Mims at 205-739-7274. You can also call Crime Stoppers of Metro Alabama at 205-254-7777 if you wish to remain anonymous. An anonymous donor has offered $20,000 for the safe return of Carly Russell, in addition to $5,000 offered by Crime Stoppers. Again, you can call Crime Stoppers if you wish to remain anonymous, or you can call either of the investigators whose numbers I provided. The Hoover Police Department is currently partnering with many of our local, state, and federal partners in this investigation, and we're very grateful for the outpouring of support from our local community as well as the law enforcement community. We will continue to provide periodic updates as we have them, and we'll utilize our Twitter account, at Hoover PD, to release any pertinent information to the public. We would also ask the community to keep the Russell family in your thoughts and prayers during this very difficult time. At this time, I'll take a few of your questions. Do you believe that she was taken by someone perhaps when she pulled her car off? We currently are, are investigating every possibility in this case. Uh, we're certainly leaving nothing off the table. Was her car door locked open? I don't know the answer to that. Is there any um, mentality that this child might have been bait, or if there ever was a child, you said there's no missing persons cases for children? Again, with all of those details, we're, we're leaving okay. nothing uh, off the table and no stone unturned in investigating some of these facts. Are y'all getting a great deal of tips? There's a great deal of public awareness. I know folks are handing out flyers. Are you, are you hearing from the public on this? Yes, we are. We've, we've received a lot of tips, and as each of them comes in, we're assigning investigators to investigate those and, and uh, see where that information leads. You may have said this already, but what are any other agencies assisting you, and if so, what are they? Yes, we've partnered with, with numerous uh, local agencies, too many to name, as well as uh, federal and state partners. Pretty much everybody that we have a, a great relationship with in law okay. enforcement is, okay. is involved in this investigation. Have you had any sightings of Carly Russell? Uh, we don't know. Again, when we get a tip, we investigate that and, and follow up to the best of our ability. And I know that families organize their own search. Are the police doing any organized searches? Uh, yes, we have a, a, a myriad of resources. Everything we have at the Hoover Police Department, in addition to those partners, is, is involved in this investigation right now. Uh, as you said, the family is, is doing some searches as well, and we're maintaining uh, very close contact with them in that process. 
Do we know if Carly had hung up or did the dispatcher hang up when you guys had got that initial call? Carly was actually on the phone with a family member when uh, the, the call was uh, terminated. However, the phone line remained open uh, and we uh, followed up from there. But she had called 911, correct? Yes. So how did that 911 call end? Uh, I'm not sure. Is there a way we could get the 911 call? I don't have that at this time to provide to you. The family member said that they heard her scream before the line was left open. Have you guys heard that in your investigation so far? The family has relayed everything that they are aware of to us, and again, we're following up with any information that we're provided. The family um, asked if it was possible to put out an Ashanti alert, I believe. Um, is that something that could have been done when you guys got the notification that she went missing? So alerts of that nature are handled by Aaliyah, and we have provided all the facts of the case as we currently know them to them for them to review the case. And if they deem that to be appropriate, they will uh, issue an alert. Um, can you tell us uh, who people should contact over the weekend as the search kind of continues? Yes, I'll repeat the same numbers. Uh, the two gentlemen to my right are uh, Detective Brad Fountain and Sergeant Drew Mims. They're with our Crimes Against Persons Unit. Detective Fountain's number is 205-444-7562. Sergeant Mims is 205-739-7274. And again, Crime Stoppers of Metro Alabama is 205 205- 254-7777 and you can call any of those numbers. Uh, they have people that either get messages or can return calls very quickly. When police arrived at the scene on Thursday night, was her car running and was her phone located there at that location? Uh, we did locate her cell phone at the scene. Uh, we're currently analyzing that phone to see if there's any information on there that could help us. Uh, as far as the condition of the vehicle, I'm not aware. Have you ever had a stranger abduction in prison? I would have to check our records for that. Um, how common are they? Again, each case is unique, and this case is certainly a unique um, instance in our city, and we're doing everything we can to solve it. Is there a staging area that, that you guys would be staging for searching or anything like that? Uh, the police department is handling uh, all of our resources internally, and uh, if we need additional uh, resources, we'll reach out to our partner agencies. Does the missing woman have any mental illness history or any um, physical conditions that people should be aware about? I can't speak to that right now. Last question. Interstate cameras matches some of the descriptions of a car. Has that matched in the area down the road at all? They have out. We're currently review, uh, reviewing any resources like that that we have available to determine if there's any usable evidence from that. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.